All right, so I have the TR8 with uh, the new trigger, the new band placement, and this is the most up-to-date version of it. And I have two handfuls of uh, red and yellow rods. Uh, these are piles of 50 each. And what I'm going to do is just shoot this gun continually for the 100 shots. Got it loaded up with some yellows already. Um, I been shooting this for a while so I didn't replace any bands I haven't replaced the trigger pin or any standard maintenance that I'd usually do before a video like this so it's already shot um, hundreds of rounds through this gun and things have already worn in so what I plan on doing now is just shooting it a hundred more times on video just to show you Basically how well the gun is shooting. And I forgot to do that. Alright, so there's the first eight. So you can fast forward to the end for the review if you want, but my plan here is basically to continually shoot the gun and uh, see how it performs. I never shoot yellow rods out of this gun. And the reason for that is quite simple. Um, I shoot fin ammo or oud ammo, that is it. So yellow rods are approximately, probably the same weight as oud ammo. To be honest with you, um, oud ammo and red rods are really probably the same weight. So yellow rods are a little lighter. And the reason I don't shoot yellow out of this gun, besides the reason I gave, is that um, it's really not designed to shoot yellow rods. Um, yellow rods are lighter. So it's going to wear the gun out faster, nice and, there you go. and uh, just causing more stress to the mini pins, the firing pin, everything, the gun itself, because there's less mass being sh propelled forward when the firing pin hits. So the gun is absorbing more of the impact instead of the ammunition. Okay. that I can see these mini pins do not like shooting yellow rods they were already worn in pretty good and now they're really worn in I believe one of the mini pins is broke. Yep. Let's see here. Looks like we might have one broken one. Mind you, because I don't sh shoot yellow rods, so this is really kind of pushing the limits here. the final three up here. All right, so that was the first 50 yellow. Go to red, this is more the size that I would typically shoot. I'm only gonna be able to load seven at a time right now because one of the pins has broke. And all the pins now are a little bit annoyed worn in that uh, they've been overly stressed. Last round.
See one of those rounds actually got stuck in the wall there. I do have five uh, size 64 rubber bands on the gun. So it, it is uh, at the highest recommended number of rubber bands. So we're not just putting three rubber bands on this thing or something and doing a, uh, a reliability test. We're, uh, we're actually max number of rubber bands and also we use an ammunition size that's technically smaller than uh, what is recommended. shot so 100 rounds um, no problem with the red rounds and I fired the yellow ones first to really strain the gun um, the firing pin everything so what we have is let's see here that pin right there let's get a better angle where's that Okay, you can see that this pin was basically shot through the blue clip, and that was with the yellow rounds, because there's five rubber bands on this gun. It is not designed to shoot anything smaller than either fin ammo or oud ammo with that many bands. If you want to shoot smaller ammunition, use less rubber bands. Um, but otherwise, um, it didn't mischarge, the slide never broke, trigger set every time, um, no turret skip, nothing like that. So, I guess what I'll do now... Grab a piece of ammunition and uh, we'll tear it apart and take a look at all the major components. So, turret's in okay shape. Looks like I'll have to replace one mini pin. And technically, I might not even have to do that. Let me see. <laughs> That's fine. So, I use the red rod to pushed out the uh, the white rod that was in there and uh, this pins actually or the uh, blue clips actually okay where is it let me see yeah it's actually all right so the blue clips okay I just have to replace it so let me just put that white rod back in all right so turret held up even uh, under stresses that it's not designed to hold up to, so that's good. Um, no problems whatsoever with the new ratchet mechanism. No problems with the new band placement. Trigger was uh, perfect. So I'm going to take off the slide so we can look at um, wear on the rubber bands and also see the firing pin. So I'm just removing the parts I need to get to do that. Slide is off, no problem there. See the rubber bands are all perfect and uh, no uh, pinching rubber bands. Take those off. Do a quick inspection. Yeah, these all look they all look good. I don't see any cuts or nothing on those. Same thing with the return band. Let's look at the firing pin and the trigger. So we'll pull the firing pin off first, I guess. Pull off the guide rod here. Here's the uh, firing pin. You can see it is in good shape. And um, I'm not seeing any cuts. Just a little crinkle here from the rubber bands itself uh, pulling on it, but um, otherwise we are in good shape there. So firing pin held up, and these are all in place good, the one slot connectors. Stock is good. I'm going to take off this uh, front grip, remove the trigger um, bands, and we'll look at the trigger itself. So, just pop this piece off to access the trigger area. And I'm just curious what sort of wear and tear we have on this piece here. Okay, so this is the trigger. This is the one slot connector there. And you can see damage is very minimal comparatively 
to uh, previous trigger designs. Just taking a look myself. I mean, it's pretty insignificant. Uh, I can't even see anywhere in terms of grooves or wear on the part. So I know that this particular trigger and this exact piece has been fired hundreds and hundreds of times. You just watched a hundred of them. And I know that I fired it hundreds of times before I made this video. So this trigger is really holding up well. You will not have to replace or do maintenance on this piece very often. Um, at least not nearly as much as before. So that's that. And this is just the, uh, the gun. Um, basically the body, the stock, handle, everything's perfect. So... Gun did a good job. Um, it shot consistently. Um, love the new trigger. Um, the turret itself is is holding up great. Um, there's no problems with really anything. So uh, in terms of reliability, this gun as of right now is really holding up well. Um, it's held up well in the past and uh, this is by far I think the best it's really held up um, ever. And um, I mean it's just pretty incredible the minimal wear and tear on this this firing pin that I made it's new design um, I think I have a video up somewhere if not I'll get one up uh, the new trigger is super impressive just you can't even see damage really there's just some little uh, like plastic dust basically and that's comes standard whenever you make a gun it's gonna wear a little bit but I mean, there is no grooves, no wear and tear, it's smooth. So this trigger is awesome. This firing pin is holding up super well. Uh, everything about this gun has really uh, been perfected to a point where you should be able to shoot this gun all day um, if you were to go to a war or it just, you should just be able to shoot it, put it back in the box, bring it out the next year, shoot it again, and not do any sort of uh, maintenance on it. Not suggesting you don't do maintenance because uh, maintenance is going to make your gun shoot better um, whenever you replace the parts that are moving. Um, typical things that I replace um, all the time just to keep the gun shooting uh, as best as possible is I always put new 64 bands on the gun. If I feel the uh, firing pin needs replacement, um, let's say it gets bendy or the back is just wearing in, replace it. It's easy fix. So replace the bands, replace the firing pin at least the back of it um, change out this trigger literally all you gotta do is change this part out right here place the trigger pin and then if you swap out these uh, both the clips and the white pieces or the mini pins that's really standard maintenance you know replace your 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 bands for your turret your trigger so that way uh, your trigger has a real snappy uh, sort of catch every time you don't have to worry about no slipping or anything like that so um, Oh, I noticed that this spacer fell off when I uh, took the trigger out. I'll find that in a minute. But, but yeah, everything held up well. I know it's a long video, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show how well the gun's shooting and performing and uh, just how well it's holding up.